Welcome back to the Old Soul Millennial channel. Now, a few days ago, I made a short video basically exposing the propane exchange industry, and I tell you, I've received nothing but hate comments. In that video, the purpose of that video was basically to inform my audience, hey, if you take your propane tank to an exchange center, they normally only put 15 pounds of propane in the tank, as where if you take the tank to a local filling station, they will in fact fill it, fill it to the full 20 pound mark. And where the hate comments have been, people have told me that I am incorrect. 20 pounds is the 100% capacity of the tank, but you know what, you're wrong, and we're gonna get into the technical reasons as to why you are incorrect. Now, as for the comments, I don't mind if people respectfully disagree with me. I actually encourage disagreements. However, when those comments become disrespectful, then you get blocked, then I take action, then I shut off comments. So, I'm gonna turn the comments back on, but people need to keep it clean, otherwise they're gonna get blocked or you're gonna lose the ability to comment on my videos. Anyway, I will say these propane exchange companies do disclose how much propane is in the tanks. That's normally listed on the label. Also, there are some benefits to getting your tank exchanged. When these tanks are manufactured new, they are certified for, I believe, 12 years from the date they're manufactured. And after that 12 year mark, they expire and they need to be recertified every five years thereafter. If you look at the top of the tank, there's normally a date stamp on there. And if you exchange your cylinder, the exchange companies will ensure that your tanks are safe and certified. So there definitely are some benefits getting your tank exchanged. However, to focus on the main topic of this video, why 20 pounds of propane is in fact the full mark, we're gonna need to reference the NFPA, which is the National Fire Protection Association, which basically they set a bunch of national standards for fire safety. So if you go to NFPA 58, which is the liquefied petroleum gas code, we're going to go to section 7.4. Now section 7.4 is the quantity of LP gas in containers. Go down to table 7.4.2.2. Table 7.4.2.2 is the max filling limit by weight of LP gas containers. It says percentage of marked water capacity in pounds. So. If you take a look at your propane tank, there will be a stamp on that tank right here. WC, which is water capacity, 47.6 pounds. Okay, that's really important because we're gonna use that in the table here. So on that table, look at above ground containers. This is a zero to 1200 gallon total water capacity percentage container, right? Because we're only at 47.6 pounds. Also, we need to determine the specific gravity of propane. According to my research, the specific gravity of propane is 0 0.509. So, if we cross-reference that on our table, it will give us 42%. So what that means is that of the 47.6 pound water capacity, we can only put 42% weight-wise of that propane into the tank. All right, now let's do some calculations. So according to table 7.4.2.2, which is the percentage of marked water capacity in pounds, we identified that we can put up to 42% of the water capacity of propane into this tank. So again, the water capacity of this tank is 47.6 pounds. So let's multiply that by our percentage, 42%. So 47.6 times 0.42 would give us 19. Point. 992 pounds, 20 pounds. We're gonna say 20 pounds for this video. Now, 19.992, 20 pounds of propane is allowed in this cylinder by NFPA 58 standards. Now, 20 pounds of propane, or 19.992 pounds of propane is equivalent to 4.72 gallons. Now, the true capacity of this tank in water is 47.6 pounds. If we were to convert that water weight to gallons, the true gallon capacity of this tank would be 5.7 gallons. We're only putting 4.72 gallons in. So if we take that 4.72 gallon mark, which is 20 pounds of propane, and we put it over the true capacity of the tank, which is 5.7 gallons, we could cross multiply and get the percentage, basically the amount of propane percentage wise we're allowed to put in this tank. So I did the calculations and that comes out to 82.8%. So you guys aren't necessarily wrong about the 80-20 rule. According to my technical calculations, we're actually allowed to put 82.8% in the canisters. So technically you're still kind of wrong there. But according to NFPA 58, we are allowed to safely put about 20 pounds of propane in this tank 
and that is about 80% full. So I just wanted to drop this technical video, prove to you why I am correct. Hopefully this will slow down some of the hate comments. But I also want to inform you that there is also an overfill protection device on this cylinder, but I don't want to fry your brains any further. So thanks for watching. As always, I will catch you on the next one.